You gotta relax. I shouldn't even be at work today. I'm sick. Everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't come into work if you're sick. And then, it, like, my streamer gets sick, and they're like, where were you yesterday? Doesn't make any damn sense. I worked three full days with COVID. Listen, I'm not gonna, like, condescend to you. I'm not gonna say stop that. I bet you were, like, kind of forced into it. If you weren't forced into it, stop that. But, like, we're, like, we're all screwing each other, though, right? If nobody, if people aren't going into work when they're sick, then how the hell did I get sick? Someone was going someplace that they shouldn't have been going to or sending their kid to something that they shouldn't have been going to. Then their kid gets my kid sick. Then my kid gets me sick. I We didn't start the fire, okay? You went to the mall? When I went to the mall, I wasn't sick. It was like two hours after I got back from the mall that was like, wow, I feel like shit. <laughs> After I came back, after I got the, the the high of the food court wore off, I was like, man, I feel like garbage. First, I was just like, oh, I'm really tired. My logical brain was like, you're probably getting sick. I was like, no, just because, like, um, my baby had been fighting off an illness for a, a month? No, that's probably not sick. It's probably I'm just probably really tired. Did you know you're contagious for approximately 24 hours before you show symptoms? Honestly, I mean, it's that famous quote, right? What's rhino virus's um, most famous trick? Convincing the world you, it didn't exist. We, we made that joke. You know, it wasn't a funny time, but we made that joke during COVID. It was like, you know, you could catch COVID and be asymptomatic but contagious for like two weeks. So the only people I better see outside are some of you motherfuckers who are blowing your nose and coughing 24-7. If you're if you think you're not sick, you better be staying inside. You're probably asymptomatic and contagious. I only want to see people who have bright red noses, who are coughing a lung out, because then at least you're probably past the contagious period. A lot of my weekends. Hey, honey, what do you want for dinner? Chocolate egg. Okay, listen, be reasonable. You can't have a chocolate egg for dinner. Plus, you already had one for lunch. What do you want for uh, What do you want for dinner? Pasta? No. No, I don't want pasta. Pizza? No. Yuck. I don't like pizza. Okay, let's not be ridiculous. Let's not say things we can't take back. What about a sandwich? Mmm, okay, I'll have a sandwich. Slice up some sourdough. Get a, get a mixture of Swiss cheese and cheddar cheese. Butter the bread. Make a beautiful grilled cheese in a pan. Slice it up into non-chokeable pieces. Put it on her plate. As Soon as I put it on her plate? Mmm, no! What do you mean, no? You told me you wanted a sandwich. What do you want to eat? Chocolate egg. We went over this! You can't eat a... You can't have a chocolate egg for, for dinner! Dinner time's like, it's a bit of an ordeal right now. It also drives me crazy. Because like, every time I pick her up from daycare, the daycare provider is like, she ate really well. And I'm like, oh, what did she eat today? And she's always, I'm not saying it's weird food, okay? It's stuff that you would not expect a toddler who, like, only wants to eat quesadillas and, and cookies to be into. I'll be like, what'd she eat today? Daycare's like, bean soup. And I'm like, okay, maybe she loves soup. Make her some soup at home? She's like, yucky, I don't like soup. You know what I realized? It's at, there should be a service. There should be, like, a toddler uh, trading service that you can do at dinner time. Because when a toddler is with their parents, they feel comfortable acting out. So they're like, I don't want this. I don't want, I don't want it to throw it across the room. When they're with kind of like a stranger or not a stranger, but like somebody who's not their parents, they're a little scared. That's like deep in the cerebellum is like this person I don't really know is controlling my destiny. So they get served some food. So they eat it because they don't want to make an enemy of their, who, the person who might be their jail warden right now. So that's why. I gotta find a neighbor with a toddler, and then at dinner time we swap kids, and we both feed our kids like some chicken, rice, and broccoli or something like that, and then we swap kids back right after that. You have the healthiest kids of all time. It, it, I'm seeing so many people saying this is a genius idea. I mean, I'm not even messing with you. It actually is like, I'm not saying it's a good idea, like especially from a business standpoint, but it would solve the dinner time problem for sure. At least for a bit. If you don't let your kid be picky, they won't be picky. My friends without kids be like... I mean, we, now, we, I mean, I, I run a pretty hard line stance. At least when it comes to food, we do have like a good cop, bad cop thing. Kate's a little bit more lenient. 
I'm a little bit more like steadfast. Because I look at a, 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 at a child as like the opportunity to like, um, you know, right the wrongs of my own food preferences that were baked in when I was her age, right? So like when she's like, it's 8.15 a.m. and she's like, I want a chocolate chip cookie. I'm like, are you crazy? It's 8.15 a.m. You can't have a chocolate chip cookie. Here's a protein bar. <laughs> and you know what? She's kind of into the protein bar. You just got to remove the, the option of the cookie. But dinner time has been the real ordeal. Kate makes her some delicious pasta. It's got a lot of nutrition in it. It's got fresh vegetables. It's got herbs. She's like, no, I don't like pasta. Oh, really? Because you ate it uh, yesterday and the day before that. And for like, you know, I don't know, like the last 11 months straight, it's all you wanted for every meal. So you could have fooled me. She wants variety? No, she doesn't. She asks for the same cookie every day. I Don't give me advice unless you are... A parent or a drill sergeant. That's all I want right now, okay? If you're literally just like, well, I was a kid, so I know what it's like, shut up. You you don't know what it's like. Because you were on the other side of the damn glass. I gotta become Denzel Washington from Remember the Titans. You can eat a cookie, but then you gotta run a mile. If you eat a jelly bean, you run a mile. If you eat a chocolate bar, I'm gonna wipe your mouth with a wet wipe. And then you're gonna run a mile. I'm not West Coast enough to have to ask my daughter what she wants for dinner. I just send her out to look after the calves. Damn, bro, that's crazy. Are you still paying for like internet by the minute or whatever? And you're wasting it on inane nonsense like that? Isn't your ISP gonna be pissed? Aren't you gonna get like an overage charge? My family has a generational AOL plan. I'm still paying that uh, unlimited internet access, also known as 40 hours a month. This is how he treats advice. What was the advice? Buy a farm? <laughs> it's not practical. Have you seen interest rates lately? 